NBL has increased its profit by 12%, exceeding all its expectations despite increased competitor activities and volume migration to South Africa. Profiling consumers and understanding consumer needs and aspirations played a major role to the Namibian Brewers' achievement. NBL delivered an exceptional financial performance for F15, this in support of our long-term investment strategy with a couple of highlights in the year that I would like to share with you. First of all, our increased operating profit of 12%, our increased net profit for the year of 26%, and a total dividend declared of 70, 74 cents. First of all, I think as a business we are well geared and compliant to most of the sustainable strategies, including that of talent, of people development, uh, specifically for, for critical positions. Beer volume increased by 8%, however the produced hectolitre amount could not be disclosed to protect itself from competitors. The economic crisis in South Africa has affected the national brewer's market peak. The brewer has a shareholding of 25% in DHN that is incurring losses. The Namibian market continues to remain a significant contributor to the total revenue and earnings. Local volume growth and our revised pricing strategy contributed to a solid performance. Tafelaga continues to lead the portfolio as it cements its ownership of national pride. Ready to drink and soft drinks continue with a double digit growth. Despite the water crisis in Windhoek, NBL is adamant that they will not relocate their operations to another place where there is access to water, but maintained they are looking at sustainable ways to keep the brewery running. One of its options is to increase its production volume to South Africa, where they are already brewing beer under South African lenses. They however stated that the beer brewed in South Africa is not imported to Namibia. Reporting for the News on One, I am O'Brien's Masiko.